Hey guys, it is Nikki here and today's video is all about Valentine's Day treats. I thought up of three different Valentine's Day treats for you guys to do at home and I enjoyed doing this video because I love baking so you know what? I don't want to ramble on you more because let's get on to the video. I have his white Nestle white chocolate chips, sprinkles, food coloring, a wooden spoon, cake pop sticks, and a mold. Now for this you have to have a pan, a plastic container to put where the white chocolate goes because that's how it's going to slowly melt into like the texture that you want it to be. Now continue to let it melt and get a spoon so then you can mix up. Now it's time to put the chocolate into the mold but first you have to mix together some red food dye and some blue and mix it all around until it all blends in well and then you're going to put it into the mold evenly out and also do not forget to put the sticks in first because you got to put the chocolate on top of that so then when you put it in the refrigerator it has to harden onto the stick so then it's easier to take out of the mold also you have to add some sprinkles to bedazzle this up there you have it treat number one is done next treat you will need pink velvet cake mix three eggs butter half a cup of water frosting here is the pink velvet mix you put that into the bowl all of it and then you gradually add each item, which I think next I added was the eggs, which is the three eggs. And then I did the stick of butter. Listen to all songs and headphones. You also have to add a half a cup of water to the mix. And then I blended it all together. Now it's time to mix everything together until it gets to that nice cake mix texture. Now it's time to put the cake, uh, the cupcake things in the pan and to put a couple of spoonfuls into each one because then the cupcakes will come out nice and fluffy and big. So it'll be great for the frosting part of this which by the way is very very cool and hot pink like the color and I added my touch of sprinkles and I also added the little design I found at Walmart of emojis I thought that would be a cute spin-off idea for this cupcake look and there you have it this is the treat number two look which is these yummy cupcakes the cooking spray white chocolate chip cookies salt baking soda baking powder food coloring two sticks of butters egg flour and sugar and vanilla to the bowl to the left you would need two and a half cups of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder then you will need a half a teaspoon of baking soda next you will need in the other bowl one and a half cups of sugar then you will need to add the two sticks of butter also. Now you will need to mix up that mixture of the sugar and butter. And you will need to mix it until it gets to that dough-like texture. Now you will need to add that one egg into that mixture of the sugar. And also add the one teaspoon of vanilla for flavor. Now continue to mix up what you just added to the sugar blend and continue mixing it. Over the summer, out of safe songs, finding hidden... Now it is time to add that flour mixture in the other bowl into the sugar mi mixture and just add little by little until you are finished with the other bowl and continue mixing it. Now it is time to add the red food coloring to the mixture so you can get that Valentine's Day look. I put at least 10 to 12 uh, drops into the mixture 
to make it bright red like that but just keep on continue mixing it until the whole entire dough mixture is actually bright red I also added the white chocolate chips to the mix also until it is all blended in now it is time to put the cooking spray onto the cookie sheet so the cookies don't stick and I would roll them into balls of like two inches in diameter so they won't be as big of a cookie I also add a little spin to this by putting some of the white chocolate chips on top of the cookies and boy did they come out pretty amazing don't forget to preheat the oven at 350 degrees while you roll these into little balls. Look at that, here are the delicious cookies that I made for Valentine's Day. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoy that video. So hit that like button down there or, you know. And also subscribe down below with the red button. Hit that notification, little bell. If the subscribe button is over here, you know, hit it. Um, also comment down below for other ideas for videos you guys want to see from me. And I really, really hope you guys enjoy this because it was so much fun to make. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. You gotta listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get.